C programming is one of the worst programming languages to start with. Do I still want to do this program? Because she ghosted me. Hello loves, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Uza and I'm a full-time Nigerian student who is trying to break into tech as a front-end developer. On this channel, I share tech-related content, I share free tech resources and courses, and I'm also going to be sharing my experiences while trying to break into this technical industry. If this is the kind of content you'd like to be seeing on your screen, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on that bell like notification button so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload videos here every single week. And please don't forget to like this video, do me that favor, okay? Now, on today's video, I'm going to be sharing about my story on why I left the ALX software engineering program. Before this video, I posted about ALX, the requirements, career opportunities, and everything you need to know about the program. If you want to check it out, it's going to be linked in the description box of this video, okay? So now, let's hop into the video. Okay, guys, so let's do a quick backstory as to why I joined this program in the first place. Now, in 2022, around August, I didn't have a phone at that time and I wanted to do tech. So the only thing I had then was just my laptop and I went on Google. I didn't know any single thing about tech. I just knew I wanted to code. I wanted to become a front-end developer, but I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know HTML. I didn't know CSS. I didn't know JavaScript. Okay. So I went on Google. I Google searched free front-end engineering courses. And what happened? ALX popped on my screen. And I checked into it and I saw it was free. The certification was free and it was sponsored by MasterCard Foundation. So I'm like, wow. So opportunities like this does exist. So then I went ahead, I read about it, I read the requirements, and I saw that I checked all the requirements. I went ahead and applied. As at that time, I was in cohort nine. So when the program started, I was so excited for this program. I did it and I did not last up to two weeks. I said no, I left. Now, a quick advice. If you are trying to do this ALX Social Engineering program and you don't have any prior experience or any prior, you don't know how to do any coding, I would advise you wait and have some experience, especially in Linux system. Okay? So as I said earlier, I didn't know anything. So it was really hard for me understanding sandbox MX Vim, if you're in the program, you understand what I'm talking about. It was hard for me to cope. I could not cope. So I had to leave. I had to drop out of the program. And then I started building my skills. I started learning HTML, I started learning CSS and JavaScript. And I started building projects as well. If you want to see a list of free HTML and CSS courses, it's on my channel. I'm going to put the link in the description box of this video. Now let's continue with the story. So after learning this HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, now in 2023, around January or February, thereabouts, yeah. So I now came across this ALX opportunity in a group chat that I'm in. So I was like, ah, I didn't even know that this program is even continued. They are still taking people because I didn't know that they take candidates every month like they start a new cohort every month so i went ahead i checked it again and i was like since i have some experience in coding i think this is the right time for me to enter into this program i entered into this program with a lot of great mindset a lot of growth mindset i just wanted to do this program then i went ahead and registered i was in cohort 13 this time around so fast forward i joined the program officially in february yeah yeah february of 2023 i joined it in february and if you are in nigeria the period when there was this election break when schools were not opening that was when the program started so that first two weeks to one month was so smooth for me i was like enjoying it i was making so much research we started with c programming language i was like okay c programming is not the easiest but i was doing good like i was doing better in it and then after month zero, because ALX is start from zero, after month zero, I passed with about 90 something, sorry, 100 and something percent. I was doing so, so well. I was keeping to task. I was doing all my projects. Then school started after the election break. And that was when I realized 
that this program is not for someone who is a full-time student or who is a worker now don't get me wrong i'm not saying if you're a student or if you're working you can't do this program but it's challenging guys like see if you are going through what i'm just saying please drop it in the comment section it was so so challenging like i'll go to school in the morning i'll come back from school i'm into the program i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it now where the stumbling block came was in month two you know month three month two is like three months because remember i said they start from zero that is ze month zero month one and month two that was like my third month i was almost done with c programming so there was this group project they asked us to do like a team project me and one other person so the first time they did this group project i did it with a girl that i don't know i just joined her through one alx group chat like that then i con no she posted that she needed someone to be her team member and i didn't have anybody at that time so i was like all right let me just dm her and then let's work together oh ma teamwork is good but sometimes the disadvantage is that what if the person you're teaming with is not as knowledgeable you know so me and the girl me and the lady sorry we started doing this project and it was difficult because you know when everybody's mindset and knowledge is different and that project was so hard but thanks to god we scaled through that first project we continued at this time i now started exam and it was so hard i had to choose between my school which is my exam and alx and there is no way in this world i'm going to pick alx not like i don't want to pick alx but i have my studies my degree and it was my at my school if you're in unizik you will know what i'm talking about unizik is so fast paced like we wrote exams i was doing about nine courses within less than 10 days crazy like so crazy i was having like two exams in a day sometimes so there was no way i could just cope with reading for exams and with alx so that was the breaking point of where my alx journey started shaking i was lagging behind in projects me that i used to finish my project in the first deadline i was not even able to finish some of them in the second deadline and there were some i didn't even touch at all i was just like let me scale to 70 percent because watch my previous video if you want to know the requirement i talked about this now after the first month you have to get 70 percent in every other month so i was just struggling to just make it to 70 percent i got to 70 percent well and i scaled the second one this one was in the second month which was like month one okay so now after that month one that was when my struggle started then in month two then i said we're doing another project this was like a simple shell project i was thinking it was <sighs> the name sounded easy now you know here simple shell i was thinking it was simple shell or i did not know it was something huge when that project started remember i told you i had this girl i this lady i linked up with for the first project so she reached out to me again and said oh she would like to work with me for this simple shell project i'm like wow fine i'm open to it we teamed up together again for this simple shell project at that time i was already done with my exams but due to the fact that exam delayed me now if you are thinking that oh let me just scale 70 percent i'll recover it is not that easy because i had missed topics like malocs and um, pointers topics like that i have already missed a lot on those topics so it was really hard for me to like cope in the program so when the girl reached out to me and said oh let us do this program let us do this project together sorry i was like okay fine let's do this and then we teamed up and then when the program started she ghosted me yes although she said she was um not feeling well she was sick and all that but at the same time it was hard for me because i was already lagging behind like i was not understanding some concepts so i wanted me and her to like put heads together and do this program but she was sick which i understood but the same on the other side it was affecting me now i understand that alx are doing this team project to help facilitate working with team members but sometimes i feel like they should have like some measures put together because this is someone that i don't know her before i've never seen her before i just met her through alx and there are some people that met wonderful partner don't get me wrong she's a wonderful person like she's so wonderful but this alx program was like too too hot so this project was for two weeks yeah about 14 days 
and she was not available for good 12 days out of that 14 days so it was remaining two days to the deadline and she reached out to me i was like oh let's do this and i was like mm? do what when it's just two days left we've not even started anything we've not even created our git repository like how how do we want to do this i thought i was tired and i can't continue with it again now i didn't properly leave i thought i'm going to defer the program to whenever i'm ready so i deferred it to august but at this point i'm like do i still want to do this program because it's a lot it's a lot guys it's a lot so i feel like there are a lot of things alx have to work on they have to consider people that are students they have to consider people that are working because it's so hard like i'm a full-time student i have other things i'm doing aside from being a full-time student i was running a business before but that was then but it was just not easy it was not easy for me at all plus that team work stuff that team work um doing a project with someone as a team is good i understand the concept behind that but at the same time is it necessary like it's not so necessary to me if you have to do something with our team members it shouldn't be in a way whereby if one person doesn't do it it will affect the other person because that was how it was i'm not going to say i'm not going to say i wasn't responsible for anything if i had understood some concepts like that pointers my logs and all those things c programming is one of the worst programming languages to start with it's not an easy language at all don't let anybody deceive you it is not an easy language at all oh my jesus sorry <laughs> that language is not easy but i don't want to discourage you guys if you want to go for alx please please go for it and to me personally the best time to do this program is when you're out of secondary school when you're not doing anything you're just in your house relaxing and waiting to enter into the university or any college of your choice that is the best time to do this program i'm not saying if you're a student or if you're a worker you can't do it but it's just more challenging because the deadlines are crazy the projects are a lot but all in all it is a good program okay guys i've come to the end of this video and this story time i don't know if you enjoyed it because it was just all over the place but please if you did please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please like this video so i can reach to other people please don't forget to like it okay all right guys i'm going to see you guys in my next one bye